Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. This is the third tutorial for my RPG game built with Game Maker. I'm excited that you guys have made it this far with me, and I apologize that this video took me a little longer than I was expecting. My cap or my calculus-based physics class is uh, kicking my butt a little bit, so I've had to study quite a bit for that. But I'm excited to do this because today we are going to program artificial intelligence. So that's pretty awesome. We're going to put some enemies in here. And honestly, artificial intelligence can be pretty simple sometimes. This is going to be a, a more simple version of artificial intelligence. We're not even going to get into damage quite yet, but we're going to get into the movement of the enemies to try and make them relatively intelligent. They won't be, they won't be super smart, but... You know, it's a pretty short code. So let's jump right into it though. First thing we want to do is create a new sprite. But I'm just going to duplicate our player sprite here. So I'm going to right click on it and click duplicate. And we're going to name this sprite enemy, right? We want this to be an enemy sprite, but we don't want it to be blue because that's not going to work. So come in and edit the sprite. Come up to the top here and go to image, colorize, and that should make it this pink color and we're gonna double click on it and zoom in a little bit and let's see I'm gonna grab this bottom color and just make it a little darker because honestly that doesn't look very much like an enemy now it looks a little better with that darker so we've got that enemy and the nice thing is all of our our origin and all of our um, bounding box information is all copied over from the player so we don't have to redo that we'll press OK now we're going to create an object, and we'll call this object enemy, of course, and we'll assign our sprite to that object. Now we're going to want to add a step event, and we're going to drag over our script for the depth, right? Because we want the depth to work on our enemies too, so that they look like they're in this kind of 3D world that we've created. Now, now we're going to create a script, so come up to here at the top, and we're going to name this script AI. Oh yeah. Artificial intelligence. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to be so good at programming by the end of this tutorial. So let's uh, start programming the artificial intelligence. The first thing we want to do is check to make sure that the player exists in the room. So do if instance, oops, exists object player. Okay. We're going to double check to make sure the player's in the room because we're going to be referencing the player in this code quite a bit and we're going to get errors if the if the player died or whatever. So, three, four. The next thing we want to do is check how close we are to the player because we only want to move towards the player if we're close enough to him. So, if distance to point object player dot x object player dot y. So, we're just checking um, the distance to the player, and we're going to compare it with something. If we're less than or equal to 256. So you can make your enemies have like more of a sight or less of a sight. I'm giving them a pretty large sight so they can see pretty far. So we want to check that. Next we want to add in. So we're going to do an and. We're going to do and not collision. Let me make my screen a little bigger here so that we can see more of this code. And not collision line x, y, object, wall, dot, or let's see, sorry, object, player, dot, x, object, player, dot, y, object, wall, false, true and that and end your last parentheses and put curly bracket. So basically what this line does right here is it checks to see if there's an object wall in between the player and this enemy. Because basically if you're hiding behind a wall you know the enemies aren't going to be able to see you. That's basically what this does. If you're behind a wall they won't see you. Okay let's hit enter. Four. Now we're going to do friction equals zero motion add 
point direction x y object player dot x object player dot y um, parentheses comma we're gonna do one and end that and we're gonna do if speed is greater than or equal to four well, let's just do this speed equals four Okay, so basically what this code does, it sets the friction to zero so this object can move. And this is a motion add, which means that the object is going to gradually kind of get faster as it's moving, you know. And we're going to add a speed of one to that motion, but we also want to give them a max speed so that they don't just fly off the screen. So we're going to give them a max speed of four. So we're saying if their speed is greater than or equal to four, just set it right back to four so they can't go any faster than that. Now we're going to do an else with some curly brackets here. And one, two, three, four. Now inside of here, we're just going to set the friction. So basically, we're saying if you're not moving, let's set our friction to one so that they kind of stop. Awesome. So we've programmed some artificial intelligence here. But our enemies, they're not going to know for collisions with walls. They're not going to know how to handle walls. So first, though, let's drag over the script that we just did for our artificial intelligence. I'm moving a little faster this time, guys, because I assume that you've watched my other videos and you're kind of starting to get the flow of things. So if you haven't, if you kind of get lost, you can always pause, go back, or maybe even watch the other videos to kind of get, get a base down. Now we're going to add a new event inside our enemy that's a collision event. So we're going to add this right here, this little two arrows pointing at each other, collision with the wall. And what is this code going to be? We'll come over to control and drag over a code and let's find out. So it's a really simple code, but I found that this code actually works pretty good for collisions. So we're going to do move, bounce, oops, solid, true. And then we're going to say if speed is greater than 2, speed equals speed divided by 2. So basically all this does is it's going to bounce off walls a little bit, but if you're going slow, then it's going to, or if you're going pretty fast, then it's actually going to half your speed. So it's going to cut your speed in half, so like they're going to kind of stall. They won't be able to recover quite as fast when they hit the walls, so you'll see it'll look good. We're going to add another collision event now, and this one's going to be with each other, so when they collide with each other, because we don't want them to walk inside of each other, and this one is going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, if, let's see, no, 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 move, bounce, all, true, and we're going to say if speed is greater than two, speed equals speed divided by two. Awesome. Now, I want you to uh, press the green check mark, and we're just going to, right click on that collision with themselves and say duplicate event and this time we're going to do collision with the player so that was kind of fancy basically all it did is copy the collision that we have for the enemy into a collision with the player as well now let's press ok and let's go to our room and put some enemies in here and kind of see what happens now this isn't going to be like blow your mind artificial intelligence but this would base this would this would work in a game so you know in the next tutorial we'll try and get some attacking into this game and uh, and you'll notice that that this artificial intelligence works for this type of a basic game once we get some attacking in it. But it's not like super awesome artificial intelligence. Obviously, this is a this is a you know like a easy to do tutorial video. So let's press play and see what happens. Okay, you can see that one moved towards us, and it kind of moves up to us, and then just kind of stops. And we can move around it like this, and it'll follow us. The other ones only move towards us when they can see us. So that looks like it works pretty good to me. They kind of they kind of lose track of you if you hide behind a wall, though. They're like, "Oh my gosh, where did he go? I don't know where he went." So they're not they're not like super smart that way. But that's okay for this type of a game. Your player will want to go out and attack the enemies because you know he's going to want to level up and stuff. So. Awesome, that's the end of this tutorial, and it was a fast one, I'm glad, so hopefully you learned some stuff here. I'll, I'll pull up this artificial intelligence script again, just in case you guys need to check this out. In the next tutorial, which I'll try and have up here pretty soon, we'll make sure we learn how to 
put in some attacking in this game. So, And also here soon I'm going to teach you how to do some basic animations. So that you can, uh, I kind of a retro style, easy to do animations. I'll show you some keyframes. It'll be awesome. So thanks everyone. Be sure and follow me on Twitter and also on Facebook. I'll put the links down at the bottom here and I'll have links to the other videos as well. So you guys have a great day.